A Cornish Mummer's Play. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to find out how to volunteer, please contact LibriVox.org. Recorded by the United Kingdom Chapter of LibriVox. Room, a room, brave gallants, room. Within this court, I do resort to show some sport and pastime. Ge gentlemen and ladies, in the Christmas time. <laughs> After this note of preparation, Old Father Christmas capers into the room, saying, Ho, ho, ho! Here comes I, Old Father Christmas. Welcome or welcome not. I hope Old Father Christmas will never be forgot. Ho, 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 ho! I was born in a rocky country where there was no wood to make me a cradle. I was rocked in a stouring bowl, which made me round-shouldered then, and I'm round-shouldered still. He then frisks about the room until he thinks he has sufficiently amused the spectators when he makes his exit with this speech. Who went to the orchard to steal apples to make gooseberry pies against Christmas? Not me! Oh, 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 oh. Enter Turkish Knight. Here comes I, a Turkish Knight, come from the Turkish land to fight. And if St George do meet me here, I'll try his courage without fear. Here comes I, St. George, that worthy champion bold, and with my sword and spear I won three crowns of gold. Hey! I fought the dragon bold, and brought him to the slaughter. Surely not. By that I won fair Sabra, All right. the king of Egypt's daughter. Hey! Hey! St. George, I pray be not too bold. If thy blood is hot, I'll soon make it cold. Thou Turkish knight, I pray for there, I'll make thee dread my sword and spear. They fight until the Turkish knight falls. I have a little bottle which goes by the name of Aelicum Pain. If the man is alive, let him rise and fight again. The knight here rises on one knee and endeavours to continue the fight, but is again struck down. Oh, pardon me, St George. Oh, pardon me, I crave. Oh, pardon me this once, and I will be thy slave. I'll never pardon a Turkish knight. Therefore, arise and try thy might. The knight gets up, and they again fight, till the knight receives a heavy blow and then drops on the ground as dead. How? Is, is there a doctor to be found to cure a deep and deadly wound? Aye, yes, there is a doctor to be found to cure a deep and deadly wound. What can you cure? I can cure the itch, the palsy and gout. If the devil's in him, I'll pull him out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ah. The doctor here performs a cure with sundry grimaces and St. George and Knight again fight, when the latter is knocked down and left for dead. Then another performer enters, and on seeing the dead body, says, Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If Uncle Tom Pierce won't have him, Aunt Molly must. Here comes I, old, old squire, as black as any friar, as ragged as a colt, to leave fine clothes for malt. Here comes I, old hubbub bub bub. Upon my shoulders I carry the club, and in my hand a frying pan. So am not I a valiant man? Here comes I, great head and little wit. Put your hand in your pocket and give what you think fit. 
Gentlemen and ladies sitting down at your ease, put your hand in your pockets. Give me what you please. Gentlemen and ladies, the sport is almost ended. Come, pay to the box, it is highly commended. The box it would speak if it had but a tongue. Come, throw in your money and think it no wrong. The end of A Cornish Mama's Play.